DaVinci Resolve for noobs. Let me show you how to put text behind an image in DaVinci Resolve in both the paid version and the free version. Now I've got this piece of footage of a sailboat just sailing across the water. And let's say I wanted to put text up into that sky behind the sailboat itself. I'm gonna put my playhead at the beginning of that piece of footage. I'm gonna hit Alt on my computer, left click and drag upwards to create a copy of that. Now for the moment, I'm gonna disable the track on the bottom and I'm gonna go over to the color page. Now you'll only see the clip that I want to mask. The first thing I need to do is right click up in the gray area of the node graph and add an alpha output. See that little blue dot? Let's connect the blue dot from your color node to that alpha output. That'll allow for transparency once I add a mask. Now I'm gonna grab the magic mask option right here. I'm gonna take my cursor, left click and hold in my preview window and just draw a rough mask around the water and the sailboat. And you'll immediately see that that'll be masked out. Now to track this mask, I'm gonna hit the forward and backward arrow option and it'll track that magic mask across your footage. Now, if you're using the free version, you won't have the magic mask option. So we're gonna create a manual mask and track it. And this is what we refer to as rotoscoping. Let's swap over to the power window section and go down to this pen tool that will allow us to create a manual custom mask. We just need to mask around this sail itself. So let's just carefully left click and draw a mask around this sail itself. What happens below the waterline doesn't matter that much, so this can be rougher. Let's just make sure we connect to the original point so we have a complete mask. You can slightly edit any of these points or add another one if some of this isn't exactly the way you need it to be. And once that's drawn, you're gonna swap over to the tracker. Now hit the back and forth arrow buttons and it will track that mask that you've created back and forth in your footage. Now, no matter which way you've created this mask, go back to your edit page and then back on the edit page, I can turn the bottom track on. Let me move this track up one to create a space in the middle so I can insert a text track in between. Let me stretch that out. Let's grab the text track and change it to something that makes a little more sense. I'll change the font, increase the size of that. Let me relocate it on screen a little bit. And how about I add a little bit of crop to the bottom and soften that just slightly. Now it looks like that sailboat is moving across the water and the text is behind it.